and we have this in place so the next thing we are going to do is to mark the bolts location so uh, the, the bolts location will be will be placed but we'll try to uh, to be away from this uh, gap here so what i'm going to do i'm going to use edit tool here to access the point mark uh, points uh, tool here and i'll come to uh, online option now i'll snap at the middle point of that plate and stretch all the way to that end and i'll be able to get this midpoint forget about these two points here i can i can go further and delete them so that we avoid cons confusion here so i've deleted that so i have this point single point here so i want to create midpoint between this end here and this point here so I'm, I'm going back to to edit and picking on and picking on the points so I'll pick on the online option so let me just come to points there and pick on online option here and snap on the on in here and snap at the end there so I have that midpoint between this point and that point and I need any at this point between that point and the edge point there let me snap right the center there so i have those in place so you see the midpoint is is right at the center where we we have a gap of 10 millimeter and there we don't need we don't want any bolt so to offset it i'll use this point once again to create a midpoint here so that we have another bolt from that spot so i'll go ahead again and move to the other side and create a point right there so we'll have a bolt there and a bolt here so i'm going to create another midpoint here by using online option i'll pick on that and snap here and snap right there and again snap there and snap right here so what i'm going to do number one i'm going to delete the point that is at the center right there and then remove this one also so that i remain with 15 50 50 millimeter center to center between the bolts so and to check this you can see if i come to distance there and select on that yeah i believe you'll be able to see that is 50 millimeter and if I come there by coming back to measure, I'll be able to snap on that spot and check whether that is 15, 50. Now the same applies to the other side. So let's see how the, the distance between the bolts and at the end here, that is 25, perfect. Now that's okay. Now the, the next part we want to check, we want to check with the, the closer this bolt is to the gap, the expansion, expansion jo joint here. So let me come to view and come to navigate and pick and rotate with mouse by left clicking and hold you see we are slightly away away out of that so that is a, is the best option now what i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to let me first of all get rid of this first then i want to convert this to transparency so that i'll be able to see the components on the other side so i'm going to come to render and pick on uh uh gray so gray i'll not be able to see everything clearly i'll come to render once again and come and pick it and pick and pick gray and that is what's best and let me pick a shaded and i'll be able to see the other parts also so let me pick the parts i want to i want to bolt so i'll come to bolts here and pick uh, steel then pick on the on the bolts there then pick on the parts I want to bolt together. Select on that while pressing Control, and select this and select on that, and zoom closer. And I want to pick the other side and pick this one also. So once I've done so, I'm going to press my mild button in the mouse and start placement of, of my bolts. So I'll snap on that spot and snap on that spot. So I have my bolts in place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch back to my previous rendering. And I'll come to view here and come to render and pick on the part rendered. So I have this in place. So if I stretch back to the other side, I'll be, you'll be able to see we have the we should have the bolts on the other side also, but it's not uh, pass, passing through. So what I'm going to do is quite a simple. I can add the length of these bolts. So let me just uh, double uh, double click on it and come here. I've double clicked on it let me just give it some time and i can come here and add the the length the bolt length here let me just drag it aside like that cut length let me just add that to maybe 300 like that 300 and click modify so if i click modify and come back and try move to the other side and rotate that it's kind of not passing through and uh, that should not be an issue also 
uh, if I try and come here and uh, maybe try hide that try hide that try hide that also it is okay and uh, that should not worry you we, we are going to modify that just right away so let me just right click and come and redraw so if I redraw that I'll be able to I'll, I'll lose my points but that should not be a worry let me just left click and come to redraw if I redraw that I'll, I'll get back my my bolts so I'm going to pick this bolt here and right click and I'll come to bolt parts so I'll pick the parts I want to bolt this and this and that and I'll come to navigate and pick the parts that I want to bolt let me just turn that around there it's not t tending to be so much easy to a uh, easy task to walk around so what I'm going to do here is uh, change the rendering to to shaded so I'm going to pick the parts I want to bolt so I'll select the bolts then right click and come to bolts parts so I'll pick this member press control and select on that member press control and select on that member press control and select on that member and again select on this member then I'll press my mid button on the mouse so if I come to navigate and come to that side and rotate it you'll be able to see I have my bolts on the other side so let me just come back to render here and pick render parts so you can see we have the part here the bolt passing through so now we have that bolt in place and it has bolted both sides now let's go ahead and turn this on the other side so once we turn this on the other side we check the size of the bolt first by double clicking on the bolt then uh, we will see that is M20 and that's okay we can leave it at M20 there and we can add some washer that right there and uh, the next thing we're going to do since we have 50 50 center to center I'm going to add I'm going to add 50 here so let me just key in here 1 and 50 right there 1 times 50 1 times 50 right there and and press uh, click ok now the part that is remaining is this this section here because our bolts will not did not extend this and this part that they're, they're, uh, they're different components that will need a, a different definition of bolting now I'm going to come back to steel there and come to bolts there and pick on the parts I want to bolt together and prior to that let me just change this uh, render to a, a render that will be will help us in it will make us able to see the, the, the other section of the of the of the packing or the, or the plate or the clamp the pla the clamping plate so let me just come here and uh, pick on uh, render that so I'm going to pick the parts I want to render I want to I, I want to bolt I'll pick on that press control and pick on that then uh, press control and pick on that and pick on this let me just move close now I want to include this one also so I'll press my mute button in the mouse and I'm going to snap on that spot and snap on that spot so you'll see the bolt will, will have gone have gone all the way through so if i switch back to my previous render of part render parts rendered i'll come to navigate by mouse and if i rotate that i'll be able to see it has been bolted like that so th th uh, that is okay so the next thing i'm going to do i'll be able now if i populate this on the other side i'll be able to have this populated perfectly well to the full length of my my structure so let me just do one thing I want to change my XYZ plane and place it somewhere here so what I'm going to do I'm going to pick view and pick work plane and place my work plane somewhere here and I want just to use the, the normal mirror so let's try and and uh, mirror this on the on this end by selecting on that by just selecting everything here and uh, get rid of what we don't want like that and like that so we have that in place and that that has been selected but it seems if we've, we've picked a part that we don't need now once i've picked on that i'll right click and come to spatial copy and pick on mirror so once i've picked on mirror i'm going just to pick my mirror line maybe from that spot to this spot here and click uh, copy so let's see if that will be mirrored on this end and click ok so i think it has been mirrored on this part on this far end with all 
the uh, the the connections or the clamping uh, plates. So let me just turn that. So this is our uh, expansion joint between the uh, crane rails. So we have we haven't populated this all the way to the full length of our uh, of our crane beam. But let's do that uh, one go once we've now added some more details on how the rail will be clamped or will be held onto this uh, crane beam. So let me then on the on the same on uh, on another part of the same same topic of uh, crane rail expansion joint detailing and that will be that is number 10 we are still on number 10 but in parts so let's meet then bye bye